Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. I have my tag challenge to share with you today that I have done for Anne Brooks 52 tag challenge. About this time last year we did a challenge for and that was with our roll which was this one and since then a lot of ladies went on and did the book challenge after this embroidery roll and a couple of my ladies in my group did the book challenge which was quite lovely but I was too busy unfortunately to squeeze that in although I may go back and do it when I've got a little bit more time but that was a, an enjoyable challenge and the tag challenge is an enjoyable challenge as well so I just thought I'd show you the ones that I've done I've done the six which is for the six weeks of the year so far so 52 is going to be the challenge for the year so we have the entire year to do this challenge so the first tag was white on white so that was this one and we were to choose a tag that was mostly white in colour now mine was white but I put it on a, a cream vanilla cardstock which makes the white tablecloth linen underneath look very yellow and it is an antique so it's quite old next to the modern white so it's it's kind of cream on white really but it's still quite pretty and um, we just sewed some buttons on and did some stitching and that was the challenge for the first tag and the second one was hearts so I did a heart with some blanket stitch around the edge and just a little bit of straight stitching and some crosses some cross stitch and added a button and just layered up a few different fabrics that I had some linen and some gingham there in the background which always looks very handmade and homely I've got a nice heavy piece of upholstery fabric in the background with a fringe and I just added some lace on the bottom and some cute little scissors and a ribbon to that one so that was the heart then we had a much trickier one and I found this one quite a challenge apart from the fact that I didn't really have a lot of time to create this one so I did an alternative version after following Rachel from Roxy Creations who adapted hers up a little bit so I just made one out of the scraps that were on my desk which were all very uneven and different little bits and sizes flat and raised so I had bits of lace I had some little upholstery trim that I've stitched in there and I just overlapped the edges and stitched that down I had some curtain fabric I had some bits of sari silk which I couch stitched along and just some odds and ends little scraps of everything and I just gathered them up and stitched them all on so it ended up to be a real mixture of colours and textures it's a very textural card some pieces of lace a bit of fibre, wool fibre some sari ribbon and some crocheted lace so it all just went on there in one big pile so that was the third one. The fourth one was fly stitch. So I came up with this little one, which is on a lovely piece of a sort of a boho fabric, really. Very lightweight piece of fabric. And I started with the button and I just worked around my fly stitches like a sun or a flower. And then I did some fly stitch down here, which looks like a stem and a couple of little fly stitch flowers then I just went down the side with a row inside of the pattern which is probably a little bit hard to see I'm not sure if you can see that but that's that one so that's number four number five was the kiss so we did some cross stitch for that one and I made a cross with some ribbon, some binding ribbon 
first and then I layered all these fabrics which are upholstery fabrics layered them up and did some cross stitch down the side of that one added some crocheted lace three little bowl pins and a lovely glass button there in the middle of the cross so that was that one in sort of shades of blue you had to pick a main colour so I chose blue and it's sort of blue with oatmeal really that one and then this week's one which was lovely this one I found so much fun because you didn't have to think too much about it it was buttons a bounty of buttons so I cut my fabric from a pillowcase which was a velvet backing and it was padded so the idea was to have something a little bit padded like a quilt or something and then stitch your buttons on that so I have added pink I chose a collection of pink buttons and I've just stitched the buttons on in different styles of stitching and tried to stick a bit to Anne's prompts that she gave us so I tend to, um, I try to stick to her prompts but sometimes I may wander off on a, <laughs> another tangent because I probably don't have exactly the same things that she does or I have a different style of doing things so that was my button one so that is the six that I have done so far and I look forward to doing the next one there's a new one every Friday and if you want to join in follow the links below which I'll put down below so that you can find the other ladies that have created some tags and that you might want to create one too even if you don't have the time to do one every week you might just want to hop in and do one say that's fairly simple that you can add to a journal or some project that you're working on Anne is putting hers on a ring and just having a ring full of them whereas other ladies are just creating them to put into their work directly so they may not want to put them in that style I saw one lady suggest she was going to make a banner to put across her craft room and she wanted to have 52 tags hanging off that and I thought well that's a great idea wouldn't that look lovely across if you had a nice big craft room to hang it so there are many ideas and lots of beautiful creations coming out of this challenge and I thank Anne for encouraging us to have a go because we probably wouldn't even do this without her encouragement and we're learning things as we go we're learning new stitches and creativity and it's just keeping our mind occupied giving us something to focus on other than all the bad things if you're one of these people that are stuck at home in isolation it's giving you a way of occupying your time and keeping your day busy and it's fun too so thank you very much for watching it's just a short one today and I'll see you again very soon with something else interesting to look at thank you very much bye for now